hopefully this works. We're having a little bit of tech issues here. Tech issues support streaming. Yeah, I've been haven't had many issues lately for a while. Um Hmm. Display capture, view capture. Alright, you know what? Do ya? Welcome to Destroy All Tanks, by the way. And Saki Day. You don't like tanks? <clears throat> Is it like literal tanks or like t the tank class? Extended uh, play. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's just try this out and see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> we back. Hopefully this works. It's the first time I've had issues on this. I don't know why. It's so frustrating. God damn it. I think I think because I started too late. Uh, long story about that. <clears throat> okay, okay. Um, play. Let's see. Look down here. This is exciting stuff, you guys. I guess we could just do it like this for now. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Am I gonna get copywritten already? Hello. <clears throat> okay. Let's go full screen. created with the original team that did Crash Bandicoot and it's our first project on the PlayStation 2 and this game is something that we're really excited about it was developed for a year and a half it's a non-linear gameplay and you have various tasks to solve and as you go forward you see that there's a very involved story we have in our world a lot of we back uh, I played World of Tanks oh World of Tanks I never played that I've seen Burning Rex and taking out tanks of Overwatch I'm gonna go let's go full screen I can't you know what oh, this is such a pain okay it's got continuous worlds there's eight times of day change there's no load time at any given time we're pushing anywhere from 20 to 50 times more polygons than you ever saw so many polygons it really is unbelievable the amount of muscle we're getting out of the system Jack and Daxter, Precursor Legacy. Look for it in stores this holiday Already season. getting an ad. To a caricature artist, everyone is unique. Liberty Mutual thinks so, too. Okay, I they think I got it. They customize car insurance. <clears throat> sort of. Some of the greatest 2000 games. Flying, really acrobatic, daredevil stunts as they're racing around on these futuristic tracks. 2001. There's multiplayer aspects that can really get into the competitive nature of the game. Really head to head on the race. This game looks like a. Uh, remember Wipeout? You guys ever play Wipeout? Kinetica. Never heard of that, actually. <laughs> yeah, Wipeout was kind of cool. I think it was PlayStation 1, maybe early PlayStation 1. It really emphasized speed, kind of like F-Zero, Sony's F-Zero version. I played a little bit, I think, on a demo disc at a friend's house. Draken 2, never heard of that. Very athletic. She can engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
summon spells. Steam out and steam, really? Like that? I don't know how volume is. I checked out Parappa Rappa 2, by the way, Saki Day, and, uh, yeah. I, I do remember it from back in the day now that I see it. Oh, Gran Turismo? SOCOM, US Navy SEALs SOCOM. you guys remember SOCOM? Military action game that we're developing for the PlayStation 2. I have very specific game. memories so of this game. Single player and multiplayer, the object is to use your teammates in order to accomplish... Track in the ancient gates is an action better game, role-playing no elements, real software. 1989. Yeah, there was a game called, I think, Draken that released on the SNES. It was like this bold, ambitious RPG, and I hated it. I loved RPGs. Let me know about volume, by the way. Uh, just some. It's a long video. I don't want to watch the whole thing. I kind of skipped around at different songs. So they're still making games for PS2? That thing old. Fun fact: PS2 is the hot, is the um, highest selling uh, console system of all time. And I think part of the reason was it had it was a DVD player. It was like a super affordable Sony brand DVD player. So even if you like didn't like games, I never heard of this either. This looks kind of cute. Kind of chibi. The characters look really expressive. It's kind of Euro European and dark. And kind of exciting. Oh, wow. The way the characters are. The characters have really defined personalities and their interactions with each other is another highlight of the game. Also, it's Bastion's the turret mode 2001. Let's not talk about Bastion tonight. Basically, in this game, everyone attacks at the same time. So it looks like a this one's called Okagi, I think. Kinda cute. Okage will be available late summer, early fall on the PlayStation 2. The ads, dude. YouTube the TV. Is the Bachelor. I've never seen an episode of The Bachelor. They keep trying to push The Bachelor on me. Record every episode with unlimited I don't want to watch The Bachelor. I hope this isn't copywritten music. I hope it's just generic. Swing, rock, and roll. Oh my god, Frequency, I remember this shit. Build a song with friends, an existing tune, and remix it together online. Group on PS2, 3, 4, Xbox 360, and 3DS, yeah, I'm young. Nah, it's not that young. I'm old. I grew up, Super Nintendo was really my system. That's my favorite console of all time. Still. Uh, you know, and I played a lot of NES. I was like super young. I ended up going back to NES later. And then like Atari and all that shit, I barely played. I searched it up and gave me Okami Wolf game. Maybe it never came out in the US. By the way, I was going to say we're starting with the PlayStation event because PlayStation just had their event, which I covered on YouTube. But I have a couple other videos that'll be fun to watch. Eco! I'm Ron Allen from Sony Community Entertainment America. The game behind me is Eco. I never and played Eco. It's an action adventure game set in a uh, fantasy environment. It's an epic adventure of a boy born with horns who is in prison in a castle. And he escapes this imprisonment and tries to find his way out of the castle. In On fact, journey, I've never castle, played. And, um, He's actually trying to leave the girl out. I've never played any of their games. A little bit of Shadow of the Colossus? Actually any type of game. You're actually leading a girl all the way through the game. There's a lot of puzzle elements. Shadow King in Japan. Me and the Devil King. Broken video game developed by Zenner Works. Include developed and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. One. 
exclusively for PlayStation 2, so it did come out in North America. PlayStation 4, wow, the network, as well as being released. Okay. I'm more curious how these games reviewed. Skateboarding! It's extreme! I used to skateboard, not very well. I could do a kickflip. Obviously an ollie. Joel Jewett, uh, never oh, this guy. All wet. Tony Hawk, yep. You better believe it. Part 3. And it's just like completely brings the whole thing to life. Got my espresso, by the way. One of the things that I grind the beans. I grind the beans. Whoever has the most momentum is the guy that remains standing. If you run into somebody else in the middle of a, of a huge trick string, you can wipe their whole score pot clean, and you added that bonus into your combo, totally flushing out the creative skater thing. So there's tons of different parts. You can scale your character, change the colors, and basically doing everything. Hopefully volume's did. okay, by the way. The previous games, but more better. PS2. More better. We're going to be there for Christmas, guys. Hope you like it. More better. NBA Street? I think I saw NBA. Yeah, there it is. Sports big NBA Street is three on three basketball. We're gonna skip around a little bit. 21 wins the game, but along the way, you get two points. You're a partner near you. Another ad, Jesus Christ, dude. These videos, everyone's like, Yeah, yeah, we know how to play Tony Hawk, right? Everyone is unique. Liberty Mutual thinks so too. Liberty Activision trucks. What is that? East Combat. It's not a sim game. Those are fun games. Capcom, Devil May Cry. Do you guys like Devil May Cry games? Hi, I'm Todd Thorson from Director of Marketing from Capcom Entertainment. We're gonna skip around. We have a lot of videos to watch. Shinji Akami. It's really a legendary story of we know. Sword. At the same time, throw them up there, November 14th. So look for it then. It's going to be a great release. What's your guys' favorite game of all time? <clears throat> oh my god, DDR. My girlfriend loves DDR. They're okay. Hurdy Gurdy! What the hell is Hurdy Gurdy? I know it's an instrument. Whoa! This looks interesting. Call of Duty? Really? Okay. Ready for 2002, actually. Hurdy Gurdy had a kind of unique art style. I kind of like it. Harry Potter. Creepy dolls. Silent Hill. Action Adventure Strategy Puzzle Game, released in 2002. It kind of looks cool. It looks different. Call of Duty Black 2, Battlefield 5. Alright, alright. You like those shooter multiplayers? Not my favorite genre. But uh, I play all I play all games, all genres. Metal Gear Solid 2 kept you waiting, huh? Are they gonna show Kojima? 
probably not. Kojima's too cool for this. Hi, my name's Jason. Yeah, you're not Kojima. We're here at the Konami booth checking out Metal Gear Solid 2. Remember when Konami it's used to make games? Is back and it's badder than ever. The graphics are insane. The realism is incredible. Yeah. You can do so many more things with Snake now that you couldn't do with Metal Gear Solid 1. The PlayStation 2's hardware is so powerful that everyone is just awed by this game. The uh, graphics in general are incredible. The level of detail on the environments and the characters are much stronger and more real. I mean, they this guy's losing his voice. Like He's passionate. This is clearly going to take the Metal Gear Solid. Either that or he's hitting puberty. So gamers, be on the lookout We're both. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty on the PlayStation 2. This is going to be the hottest game this fall. No question. No question, boy. Gamers, trademark, capital G. Remember when Konami existed? Oh, they exist. They exist to bring pain. Brought pain upon the world now. <laughs> Such is the existence of Konami. While we were at this year's I need ad blocker. Los Angeles, we got a chance to check out the future of the PlayStation 2. Sony announced some cool new technology that will expand its power. Soon you'll be able to connect your PlayStation 2 to the internet, surf the web, and play online against bit. opponents all around the world. I wonder the what they're doing, right? Announcement, Sony Computer Entertainment and America Online teamed up to bring internet access to the PlayStation 2. Oh, is that AOL? Did I see AOL? Tools so that game developers, so PlayStation 2 developers, AOL. Games that involve <laughs> dialing into the internet, that use AOL email, that use AOL instant messaging and chat. In addition, you have got there mail. Is the AOL service. You have the AOL welcome screen, all the AOL content, your buddy list, your instant messaging. It is AOL. All Was right AOL still popular in 2000? One. So how will you connect to the internet? By using the new PlayStation 2 network adapter, which will be available this November. The oh my god, network? Both a V90 modem for people who use a dial-up connection, as well as an Ethernet port for users with broadband connections like cable or DSL. I don't remember that. This network adapter will have a suggested retail price of $39.95, a small price to pay for all the features it will make possible. Oh my god. Like regular internet access you can get AOL on your PlayStation 2. Partnerships with real networks and macro media that will let PlayStation 2 owners access streaming media in the real player and flash format. Oh, real player? Player. to bring dynamic content from the internet and from various Harry Potter into games that Call of Duty for Zombies Battlefield for multiplayer Zombies seems like a divisive mode but I also play racing trucking ooh, MMO zombie survival anything I can find fun enough frustrating for instance you know, I saw that space game I'm not sure what space game that is danger Sue the PlayStation 2 is playing back HDTV quality video in real time from a hard drive. Check that out. So how will you be I still able to use AOL's come at me an email. Uh huh, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Simply download it from the network. In the future, if we get the high bandwidth of the network. I don't, I don't think I believe you, so destroy all tanks. Instead of the playback from the hard drive, so you can see the uh, such kind of movie from the network in real time. Oh. Wow, streaming HDTV video. It's going to be a whole new game for PlayStation 2. So those genres you just described were kind of like my least favorite overall. Details. The amazing online feature of the PlayStation 2 will start this November. I do love Overwatch multiplayer. Next show. Move on to the next one. Kind of cool. See the making of. Uh, we could try this one. 2001 Spectacular. The Bachelor is back. I don't care about the goddamn Don't Bachelor. Welcome to Los Angeles, California. We're at the oh my God, is that Tommy Tallarico? Is that? Hold on. 
biggest video game trade show on the planet. It's the Electronic Entertainment Expo. Just call it E3. Come on, E3. we gotta go. Come okay. on, let's go. Let's ask to see. Let's get in here. Come on. Today on is E3, that Tommy we take Tommy Electronic Rico? Entertainment Exposition for a look at the hottest games of 2001. Do you guys know who Tommy Tellerico is? We also take you behind the scenes on the new Tomb Raider movie. And Tommy and I take our. It is Tommy Tellerico. This is before he became an asshole. Well, maybe he was always an asshole. In Parappa 2, there was an unused awful mode. Awful mode. Level 8 that is still in the files, but Boxy Boy talking goes with the song. Awful mode. <laughs> like, no joke. I only got two emails at AOL and Gmail, which email mainly for me, not getting in trouble with my parents and for gaming and everything else. Wow. I can't believe AOL still exists. To Hollywood, California. Bro, I think it is. Tommy Tyler. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that far. Shit. So Tommy Tallarico is, uh, he's putting out the Intellivision Amico, and that console has been just a disaster. There he is. He's a musician. He writes music. He DJs. He writes great music. I'll give him that. But the way he's handled this Intellivision Amico console has been, like, a hot mess. E3 2001 was a huge year for game players because it was the first time the GameCube and Xbox had playable software on display. The first thing we took a look at was the lineup for the Microsoft Xbox. That on November the 8th, in the North American market, you'll be able to go into retail stores and you'll be able to get a box just like this with Xbox in it. Why the Xbox and not the PlayStation? Bro, I think that, that is. is the hardware itself. Uh, the Xbox has a hard drive, has more RAM, so it gave us a lot of possibilities to make bigger worlds than the other platforms, and we wanted to have a lot of stuff for people to do. Talk to me a little bit about uh, working on Shrek. We exploit Shrek. the Xbox, and we make the game look as good as the DVD is going to look on your TV at home. That's our goal with this game. Never. Really oh my god, Peter Molyneux. Or enough technology to do it. But now, Feeble. Got a pretty cool there was a rating one, but I was like, you rapping cool, good, every bad. Oh, I see what you mean. I got gotcha. you. Quacking noises if you got too bad are awful. When he set out to design the game, he wanted to create something that was really massive and took full advantage of the Xbox. And that's unique because it was the first game that really started development for the box. The 7,000 polys. When he runs around, all polygons, of bro. stuff moves and reacts to the environment. He has 7,000 polys. Yes. Just, just one just, character. Just that character has 7,000 polys. Wow. wow. So many polys. Not even polygons, bro. Polys. Up to 20 different okay. snow textures within one environment. So you're riding around and there's deep powder. Right. If you're a little sick of the powder and you want to go a little faster or you want to do jumps, you cut off onto the hard pack. 12,000 trees. The buildings with real-time reflections on the glass. The writer has I, I miss snowboarding games. Goggles. So trying to get this realism no. across to the players can only be done with the Xbox. One of the hottest stories of E3 this year was the Nintendo GameCube. This was the first GameCube. time that North American game players were able to see the system and play some of its games. I, in terms of the looks of the GameCube and the controller, I really the hated it. Video game console but how do games? Developed. Ladies and gentlemen, Shigeru Miyamoto. Miyamoto son. Let me introduce you to our new baby. New baby. <laughs> like all babies, it is small, but <laughs> it will make a lot of noise. Graphics. Wave oh, race. Amazing. The water oh, dude, wave so race is such. Yeah, they need to bring back wave fact, race. When you're when you're <sighs> racing in one of the rain levels, or if you're if the camera gets a little too close, dude, if you got bad, if you got bad, the whole skybox will turn into noodles, the, and the awful noodles turn black. Or see the little riplets from the rain. It's very impressive. Turn into noodles. This one's called Cameo. It's a new game. The game feels so less than Xbox. Maybe. I don't know. Luigi's Mansion. Here's a quick look at Mario. Now this is the first time that Luigi is actually the hero, and he's got to save his brother Mario. Rogue Squadron. Rogue Squadron. Check this out. It was one of my favorite games on N64, but this is totally different. I'm on the Death Star right now. Look at all this laser fire. It's incredible. Pikmin. Can you please explain Pikmin project. Ah, uh, Pikmin is 
Yes, Pikmin is a new game that I've been working on. Lately, I have been into gardening at my house and learned quite a lot from the experience of making up my garden. Pikmin an event of life simulation? And plants, so I came up with the idea of Pikmin, a kind of half animal, half plant, which inherits the characteristics of a plant or flower, and you can give instructions to hundreds of Pikmin. Underrated series, Pikmin. Although I've only ever played the third one, I, I was late to the party. The Rock. Video games. Yeah, big fan of video games. What do you have in mind? Did you bring me any video games today? Uh, no, I didn't. I'm sorry, man. I, did, I, I couldn't. I, we had so video much games. camera gear. So is there going to be a Scorpion King uh, Scorpion character King. in the Mummy Returns video game? Do you know? Uh, yeah, absolutely. The Mummy Returns video game wouldn't be complete without a Scorpion King character. Absolutely. For every good guy, you need that really, really bad guy. Are you going to do any motion capture for the game at all? Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, I've done so many of that with, all, obviously, all the WWF games we put out. So, yeah, I'd be glad to. It'd be great. What I, what I really want to do is I want to I want to get the rock, contemporary rock, facing the Scorpion King. So who would win in that fight? Who do you think? The rock kicks ass like nobody else, contemporary. The Scorpion King kicked ass like nobody then, 3000 BC. He seems very subdued. <laughs> Up next, we head back to E3 for the PlayStation 2 and PC. Personal computer. Snoop Dogg, what is this? Oh my god. No. No, oh, thank you. Microsoft and Nintendo didn't steal all the limelight this year. The second generation PlayStation 2 games looked amazing. We continue with the PlayStation there 2 to deliver on the promise of content that is compelling, that is entertaining, and that is exciting and fresh to the consumer's mind. So what's your guys' favorite system of all time? Ooh, GTA 3. The original 3. game was based on watching oh my American God. movies okay. and uh, watching all that overhead helicopter chase footage, right. um, which was the only camera we could use due to the limitations. Darius Dan Hauser, retired. We always wanted to GTA make an action 3. movie when you actually felt like you were controlling a real character. And that's what we've done when this I time. played the first two GTA games, and then when I saw GTA 3 in magazines and saw the screenshots and what they were doing, even as a little dumb kid, I was like, holy shit, this game is going to, if they could pull it off, revolutionize video games. Like, I just, you could see it. And I never think that way, like, very rarely. But I was like, if they can make this 3D, this the first two games, but 3D, like, oh man. So no idea how Star Fox is on the SNES. Fun fact, I was in a Star Fox competition. Uh, and I did pretty well. I was winning for a while. So it's like ready to rumble meets blitz on ice. Absolutely. We're the first ever sports uh, game with a I had, I, I was like super young class, and you would go to a mall and a you would uh, try to get the highest the score. Game, get and, and you only get one chance and it was different than the Star Fox game a little bit. The first Final Fantasy and I crushed so their score, the Batman, high score. Not only in terms of graphics, but eventually but somebody else Fantasy beat me. Game, the character is going to be fully voiceovered. Can we talk for a minute about the Final Fantasy movie? Mr. Let's not talk about that. The Final Fantasy series plan this out as no. a Hollywood feature film. It's going to go beyond just our normal gaming community. Favorite system is the PS3. Although 2001 okay. was considered the year of the PS3. console, there were also lots of incredible new Mine's games SNES on display Mine's SNES and the then the 360. PCs. Talk to me about Battle Realms. What's this game all about? Well, Battle Realms is a real-time strategy game set in a fantasy universe. We're doing a lot of things that you haven't seen before fantasy in terms of strategy. Fantasy universe. We have the effects of hide in the game. We have the effects of uh, hiding in forests. Yes, Fire is a growing and living, breathing thing in our game, which you actually have to put out. So all of those things will actually make it so you have to spend more time on the battlefield and less time in, in your base producing your units. Everybody at the E3 show is talking about this game. Max Payne. We're telling a oh, very shit, strong and deep story. We right. want action. From Remedy, dude. It's about adrenaline. Makers of my game of the year, 2019. Really up and beefed up, and we really wanted an engine that could do what we wanted it to do, and there wasn't one available at that point, so we've done it ourselves. Basically, the massively multiplayer, huge game for people that have been scared away from those kinds of games in the past. Right. That's what you're looking for. One of the major goals in the game is to make sure that even though it is massively multiplayer. That is true to the FPS market in general, meaning What's people the don't Wii, really? the manual. I didn't, I didn't like the Wii that much. 
There's a lot of rolling Warcraft terrain. Warcraft 3. The terrain effects that make the terrain warble. Rain effects in about 20 really years, you guys are going to ruin this game, so enjoy it while you have it. EverQuest. Shadows of Luckland that people haven't seen in EverQuest before. Just about everything. We've yep. upgraded the uh, spell engine. We've upgraded the uh, ability Let's for put Call of Duty on a DS. What? And uh, the latest generation of video cards. Wow. You'll still be able to recognize the world, right? But they're going to see everything in a brand new light. <laughs> So what did you guys okay. think of uh, E3 2001? Did you have fun? Oh my gosh. Okay, I thought Sega was amazing. Right. Jet Set Radio Sega. Future for Xbox. There's Jet Set Radio. We were talking about Second that yesterday. Generation PlayStation 2 stuff was amazing. Oh, the Nintendo booth. Very impressive. Metal Gear Solid 2 is the most amazing thing you'll ever see. This Gran year. Turismo 3 is absolutely realistic. I liked Wave Race on the GameCube a lot. And I've been to 70. I don't think I ever played the GameCube version of Wave Race. I've ever been to. I played 64. Every year they get better. This was the best E3 I've ever been to. Is this the first E3 you've been to? This is the first E3 I've ever been to. We can't wait for E3 2002. That'll be second generation Xbox, second generation GameCube, third generation PlayStation 2. Whatever system you get, there's going to be lots of great stuff. That's yeah. the bottom line. Question of the week. I've got a question for you. What is the best selling video game of all time? Tetris? It's a bit of a difficult question to answer because yeah, it depends. video games weren't really tracked too well in the early 80s. We could say Super Mario because it sold with uh, millions of Nintendo. But it was packed in. But my guess would be Tetris. Tetris, it yeah. it appeared on <coughs> so many different platforms. At this uh, time. Blizzard always the knows how to make game the game Boy. slightly worse. No, nah, that's not true. Blizzard, they time. have a good track record. I'm not a huge fan of Blizzard, video game, uh, today. but they're usually, so they're about usually the good. Industry, visit our website at www.discovery.com slash elect play. But this is the rock from the they screwed up Warcraft 3. After this, EP talks with Angelina Jolie about the Tomb Raider movie. Oh, no. That movie wasn't bad, actually. <laughs> Two legendary rivals. This is but I don't want to. I don't really care about the movie, do I? Called Star Wars Galactic Battleground. Galactic Battleground is a real-time strategy game, uh, affectionately known as an RTS. An isometric 2D engine huh. this time, as opposed to the 3D. He's in the role. Age of Empires. Why did you Empire choose game? that? Game Amount engine. of units, recognizability yeah. of the units. I don't remember that game. Our, our lead tester. We've started crunching the numbers for balancing, um, kind of looking at all the units, making sure everything is balanced. In the movies before, or are you guys able to start creating your own stuff? Design meeting. What we want to do is come up with sort of a box for me. Hired along the way. At that time, there wasn't a lot available for Laura and who she was as a character. It's unlimited scope for me to just run right. Game, then you better be able to back it. From the very first time I turned the camera on, I knew I was completely home and dry, and most of my work was done for me, and all I had to do was point the camera at Angie and the kart racing game, which is pretty impressive considering it is on the Game Boy Color. Huh. You got your buzz. I love all the wacky 90s camera angles. Two legendary rivals. <laughs> all right. Buzz Lightyear and your Woody and your Bo Peep and my personal favorite, Mr. Potato Head, of course. But the problem with this of game course. is the controls. You know, it's really, really hard to steer your car. You push left and you know, your thing flies to the left, and you're flying off screen. You're you're literally struggling. I think Blizzard's to play just saying that they game. kind of make. They the do. AI I mean, everyone has flaws, but I, I, I would actually put them. It's pretty non-existent. It comes down to this: you got to have great gameplay in a small car uh, racing game like this. And like in the, the top best developers, lacking. right now. I give it a four point five. It's a bit of a bomb. I think <laughs> Nintendo. Oh my God. Nintendo, Naughty Dog, and Blizzard are kind of like. The run is brought to you by Walmart. Arguably, we'll like about Super Bombad Racing top. for the PlayStation 2. What'd you think? Toy Story's um, over now. Based on a big Hollywood movie, you may have heard of it, Star Wars Episode One. It's just the same now, old this stuff is that we've been racing. seeing for years and years and years. But the thing that I really don't like about it yeah. is the fact that all the hits are cheap. It has cheap AI because you can be at the front of the race and get hit by some cat at the back and boom all of a sudden you're you're in last place. It could have been a lot more attractive and there could have been more stuff. There could have been more levels. There's only really about eight or nine different levels but there's a lot of shortcuts and stuff like that that you can race through. But I mean and the, the multiplayer is a, is a major. Yeah throw realism out the door which is great though. Yeah. Is when you get in this game, go in the first person view. It's like right out of Terminator but with crazy jumps. The amazing thing about this too is that there's so they're just not as this isn't really E3 like that much, so let's just skip around. Do something really cool and unique like this. Make it heroes. Let's talk about Spider-Man for yes. the Dreamcast. The thing with this game is it is an exact 
port of the PlayStation version. At first, yes. but Spidey's a hard character to control because he can go anywhere. Okay. Game and you're walking around. Oh God, Mario Party. Different challenges. <laughs> Most of the game. Average racing is game. Just a it was okay. Pod games. racing. And if you do have friends, all right. Over, it's an awesome time. It's really fun to play with a bunch of people. Every year there's Original one new Mario average racing game. Kind of started a genre with these parties. There used to be a lot more, I feel like, back in the day. Slow, but sad. You know? Hooray for Hollywood! <clears throat> Especially when purchase any games arcades were more of a thing. Run, visit a Walmart near you. Rumble Racing. If you'd like us to review a specific game, visit our website at, w at www. There's no business like singing. no business like no business I'm like no. I'm not being a dork on camera. Everything. <laughs> Now, let's see what else we got here. There was like show floor. Where's the show floor? There's a, there's a different video. <clears throat> Where is it? Oh, I guess this is it? This might be it. Booth babes. Always gotta have booth babes. Audio's not too great, I know. Wow, I like that. Come on up here, young man. Here we go. What's your name? Didn't we see this already in 2000? Definitely in the Wii days, too. Yeah, in the Wii days, N64 was a massive racing system. You had so many racing games on the N64. Cruising USAs. Don't look at her butt. I really wanted to show everyone <laughs> that lady. Okay. Yeah, come on up, fly man. Hey, thanks, Nate. Nerd. Hey, my man from India. What's up? What are you going to ask Laura? Uh, she looks good. No, what are you going to ask her? <laughs> um, I don't know. She's, she's, just... Okay, that was a fail. What is that? <clears throat> yeah, BMX! Blizzard, speaking of Blizzard. So far, 2001, not that exciting. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be honest here. I don't, uh, I don't know, it's like a, it's like just like a regular, we're getting lagged by the way, just like a regular person, um, regular cameraman person. We're going to do 2002 next. I don't know about tonight. We're going to see. We're going to try to get everything we can out of 2001 tonight. Because I don't want to, like, skip over something that might be really cool. Because there is one other YouTube video I want to look at. And it's a really long one. So we'll, like, skip through it. Dark cloud. Excuse me, sir. Dark cloud. That's such a generic name. Dark cloud. Stop zooming in on dark cloud. Just wants to see more dark cloud. Is that a Tekken movie? Fortnite has Family Guy in the files. 
They're just eventually gonna have every single thing ever. Anything ever created by a human is gonna be in Fortnite. I like her outfit. Not her, the other one. Oh, oh, oh. I think it might be for Devil May Cry, maybe? I don't know. No, it's a fighting game. Cameraman's very odd. Yeah, I don't understand what he's doing. <clears throat> but you know, he probably has to have this big bulky camera. Look at this Sega thing. Kill him! Racing game, Daredevil, never heard of it. Dare oh, Medieval 2, I know that game. Zelda. Dinosaur Planet? Wait a minute. Was this the game that became Star Fox Adventures? No. Is it? Star Fox Adventure was gonna be like a dinosaur type game. I think that I think that was Star Fox Adventures. Before they changed it. Hey, weren't you the one that zoomed in on Ladies in E3 2001? Yes. He would be so embarrassed. Or maybe he wouldn't. Yep, developed by Rare. Knew that. Originally developed I knew it! Dinosaur Planet! I knew it! Aha! Is that a game? Because dinosaurs were like all the rage back then. I mean, dinosaurs are still cool. Hey, you Pikachu. What the hell is this? Oh, he's mad. They're just beating Pikachu over the head with bubbles. What? What? What the fuck is this? Gotta catch him on. Perfect dark. Do you pick it to a virtual pet video game Pokemon series for Nintendo 64? It's so weird. It's just like I didn't even know there was an attachment to your N64 that you can speak into. It's fucking weird, dude. Dragon's Lair? Nice. Dragon's Lair 3D. Wait a minute, this ain't Dragon's Lair. What the hell is this shit? Dragon Slayer, my aching ass. This ain't Dragon Slayer.
Why is there a monkey I keep hearing in the background? It's like, this is a fucking monkey freaking out. <laughs> uh, <all right. sighs> Racing games. Gran Turismo, possibly. Might be Gran Turismo. Let's see. Unreal Tournament. Fighting games. Dragon Slayer 3D Return to Layers of Action Adventure. It's so different though. Dragon Slayer is like one of the like progenitors of uh. Wait, what'd that guy say? I like listening to the people. That <laughs> game was identical to 2001 demo. Dragon Slayer, like, quick time events weren't a thing ever. And then, like, games like Dragon Slayer were, were the progenitors of, like, it was all quick time events. But it was mind blowing, dude. The first Dragon Slayer came out, I think, like, late 80s. And so you would, like, you went from, like, Nintendo games. To this game that was animated by one of the Disney Disney animators, and it was just like you're playing a game that's like a Disney cartoon. It was amazing. Am I gonna get copywritten? Pokemon Stadium. Oh, Smash! Or no, it's still Pokemon. Okay. Zooming in on butts again. It's <laughs> back to his shenanigans, right? He can't help himself. He cannot help himself. See, back then, like... It's probably a lot harder to be a creep because you had a giant camera. You didn't have like a little phone you could like, I don't know, be, be a sneaky pervert. He's just, you have to be like an obvious pervert back then. Chuck Liddell. Chuck Liddell, is that MMA? That's MMA. Yeah, UFC. Alright, I don't care about UFC. More racing! ...that we have going on for today. First, we're gonna start off with UFC. You know what that stands for? It says it right behind you. Let's hit it. Two and three. Come on. Don't shy, but get ready. And we've got a fabric UFC game. You oh, wow. They have actual, expertise. like, fighters playing? You have to be a man of expertise. You have to be or a woman of expertise. You don't have to be a man. Look at this fishing game. <laughs> I thought the C3 cover is not zooming into females. Some people, they probably just go there to like, look at the booth, babes. Oh my god, it's like an actual fishing line. Look at that. That's cool.
Brave Firefighters. There's literally a game called Brave Firefighters. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> and it's on rail shooter. Oh my god, he's going for that butt. He is going for that butt. Look at him! Get out of here, dude. Holy shit. Ill bleed. I want to know. Oh my god, dude. I bet like nobody who watched this video of the... This video only has 238 views. That's obscene. It should have a lot more. I bet none of... No people know what ill bleed is. This game is one of the most classic so bad it's good games. Um, I watched a full playthrough by Game Informer of this game. I don't even know how to describe it. It is ridiculous. It's a horror game, but it's so cheesy and weird. The story, the gameplay, it's so weird. It's called Ill Bleed, and it was the same people who made, um, I think they made Blue Stinger, which is also a cheesy Dreamcast game. He was like soldier he was. I've got you in my sights. Or Widowmaker with her zoomed in sniper. Oh, that's Samba de Amigo. Nice. Is that the... What is that? Is that PlayStation 2? Yeah, it just looks weird in the case. can't read that. I know, isn't that weird? Oh, there's a Samba de Amigo. That's so random. Summon him. Daredevil again. They really want to look at Daredevil. Disney. Yo, it's funny. When I saw this, I was thinking, that looks like Mickey, but that's just my weird imagination. But I don't know, because there's Disney. Creepy Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. Is that game just called Dinosaur? It can't just be called Dinosaur. That would be like the most simple game name ever. Was it a <laughs> trying to hear what they're saying? He's gonna zoom in on this pack, man. Oh god, that would be funny. I know that game. Uh, there was one time that reminds me, they were doing uh, Star Wars movies, the old movies, but putting them in the theater again. And uh, my friends and I went to go see them all on opening day. And they were having like special events with like Ewoks running around and stuff. And because I was young and stupid, I like slapped one of the Ewoks in the butt. And he did like a little dance. I was like, Ooh. It was dumb, not appropriate. Oh, that's um, is that Rayman? Yeah. I 
I've only ever played one Rayman before. I think it was like the most recent one. And I freaking loved it. It was amazing. But it was like 2D? There's some tanks. I don't know. I think that tank person left, but... Some tanks. And Donald Duck? My mom used to be able to do a perfect Donald Duck impression, which is not easy, because Donald Duck is very hard to do. Oh, was that Rayman 2? Okay. Super Mario Dreamcast, Enhanced Remake, developed for Ubisoft, PlayStation 2. Looks like Contra Hardcore Roadcore. Not sure. Oh, it's called New Game. That's the title, new game. I wonder if anybody ever named their game New Game. That would be kind of funny. Grinch. Smooth, sexy jazz music. That's what I think of when I think of the Grinch. Oh, I bet this is ready to rumble boxing. Amazing title. We have a new game coming out. Oh, what's it called? New game. No, no, I know you're making a new game, but what's it called? It's new game. Well, hello, ladies. Yeah, this is ready to rumble. I wish I had a fro. O U T Military Operations Urban Terrain. That's not even a word. Mount? Boot? That dude's just chilling. He's like, hey, so <laughs> you come here often? I'm super cash. What the fuck was that? It's random. <sighs> the obligatory car porn. Every E3 has to have an expensive ass car with uh, very pretty women standing next to it. <clears throat> Some things never change. I don't understand why people are fascinated by cars. I just don't get it. Like, it's like, all I care about is if it gets me from point A to point B. And if it's a nice car, that's a bonus too, but I don't really care. They're playing Psycho Killer uh, by talking heads in the background. So hopefully I don't get copyright. Struck for that. You can barely hear it. Is that Rich Racer? What the hell is Pac Man? You know, you know what might be kind of interesting? I don't know if it would work, but have like a racing game, but you're Pac-Man and you gobble the pellets and then it's first person and you gotta avoid the ghosts. I don't know. Maybe?
Did that say NBA 2K1? Oh, I guess like 2001. Right, 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 right. I have no idea. What... Me either. I think it's a Contra game. I think it's a Contra game. Because there's definitely was a Contra game back in this era that looked like that. Like top down. Also, how... Why do we keep showing Daredevil? I don't care about daredevil I think this is repeating stuff now dinosaur planet we've seen that It's so weird, dude. I never knew there was a N64 thing like that. It's like we've always been trying to like do VR, 3D, motion connect type stuff, and voice recognition software. Like we've always been wanting to do that. I don't know what the fascination is. Are we done with this video? Anything else new? Hey, you see those screens that right right up, dude? I'm trying to see if I can see anybody I recognize from the game industry, like from Giant Bomb, or Game Informer. to move on to another video because it seems like all repeat stuff now yeah okay this would be a good time to use the bathroom anyway you found it is it contra Where was it? Maybe we can go back to it real quick. Donald Duck? Here it is. Alright. I will be right back. I'm going for an hour already. All right. I'll be back.
So what game was it, uh, Saki Day? All right. It's rock and roll. By the way, we end the stream. Remind me to check my Discord. I keep forgetting to do that. I know you mentioned it last time. Very forgetful. Very forgetful. All right. Um, I looked at it. I skipped around on this one. It was pretty boring. I didn't. I don't know if we're going to watch that. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, did that say two of two? Or one of two? Let's do one of two. Nintendo 2002, that might be a fun one. Smash Brothers reveal. But no, let's let's keep on track. Neo Contra, yes, that's it. That's I think that's what it is. Neo Contra, yes. Is there no sound? Advance Wars, hell yeah, they need to make more of these games, dude. Advance Wars is great. Love Advance Wars. You know me, I love tactics games. So, of course, I like Advance Wars. The sound is all weird. It's weird that there's no background sound. Awesome game. Banjo Kazooie. What is that? Grum Grumpy's Revenge. Is that like a expansion? Grunty's Revenge. Or is that just the subtitle I was unaware of? Huh. For Game Boy Advance. Oh, it's Game Boy Advance game. Okay, I've heard of this one. Yep. That's cool. Diddy Kong Pilots? Have you ever heard of Diddy Kong Pilot? I know Diddy Kong Racing, a hell of an underrated un racing game. I don't know, Pilot. Game Boy game, yeah. I, once I saw that perspective, I was like, okay, I do remember that. I never played it, but I do remember that. This, I don't remember. Donkey Kong Coconut Cracker? I don't know what this is. I either <clears throat> it's like a puzzle game <clears throat> i wish the sound wasn't so terrible <clears throat> huh okay it's like tetris cancel ah before finally becoming Banjo Pilot. I never heard of Banjo Pilot either. That's fascinating. Okay. Cool. F Zero. I don't know this game either, which, by the way, the F Zero on N64 also very underrated. Super great. This is another series Nintendo needs to bring back. F Zero is fun. That was for Game Boy Advance, that's why. This is why I never heard of most of these games. I didn't play a whole lot of Game Boy Advance. And it actually looks good. It looks like the Super Nintendo game, kinda. Cool. F-Zero Maximum Velocity, and the other one was Donkey Kong Coconut Crackers. <clears throat> I 
Golden Sun, classic RPG. Is he peeing in the lake? Account Coconut Crackers, Puzzle Paints? Another cancel game. 2001? Why are you canceling all these games? Developed by Rare. Another Rare game. Dude, Rare is canceling games left and right. <coughs> Forthcoming acquisition from Microsoft. Man, that's right. Microsoft has owned Rare for a long time. <coughs> Mario Kart Advance. Never played that. Yashi! That looks fun. I need to stream some Mario Kart again. We need we need to do some multiplayer Mario Kart. Love Mario Kart. It's so much fun. It was reworked into the game Mr. Pants? Mr. Pants. <laughs> I should name my channel Mr. Pants. <sighs> Saber Wolf, another rare game. Probably cancelled because it's rare. <clears throat> Looks almost like Super Mario RPG in a weird way. But then there's 2D elements to it. And you... Is that poop? Or rocks. What a weird game. Saber Wolf. It's funny they call their games that everything's like advanced because it's Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Maximum Velocity Futuristic. Developed by ND Cube. Game was released in Japan. <laughs> First one in handheld. Okay. Bring back F Zero, Nintendo. God. It annoys me that Nintendo like ignores so many other franchises. Kid Icarus, Metroid, in many ways. F Zero, Donkey Kong, in many ways. <clears throat> You know, put Yoshi on hold. I like Yoshi games, but put Yoshi on hold. Do some other shit. Mario Land 4. I didn't even know they made four of them. <laughs> Speaking of Metroid, Metroid 4? Dude, I've heard of like none of these games. I assume. Oh my god, I hate that art style. Oh my god. Is that supposed to be Samus? She could run on walls, that's cool. Oh my god. I don't like it. Saber Wolf 2004. Wow, it didn't come out of 04. That's cool. Yeah, I definitely am curious about reviews for some of these games. I'm curious about two things. Whether they got canceled and how well they did. Generally favorable sales were lackluster. Safari runs and jumps. What a weird game. And apparently, yeah, 1984 it was originally. <laughs> Castlevania! Dude, my knowledge of Game Boy Advance is like non-existent. Apparently. Earthworm Jim! Fire Pro Wrestling, hell yeah! Fortress! What the hell is that shit? It's like Tetris, but you build a base. Weird.
Crazy Racers. Nothing like Mario Kart. I didn't know Konami made a kart game. Wow. Look at that HUD, too. Hold on a second. Look how busy this fucking HUD is. Jesus Christ, dude. There's, like, no screen for racing. Jurassic Park. I should have used an action-adventure game published by Nintendo for the Game Boy Advance. Game in a series. Oh, they developed Super Metroid. Okay, Super Metroid, arguably the greatest game ever made. Arguably. Jurassic Park Park Builder? That's a cool concept. Like Sim City, but Jurassic Park? Uh. What's it called? Which one? None of those were that super interesting to me, I felt like. Fortress. I think you might. Oh, Pitfall. This game on Super Nintendo, really, really good. People don't talk about it. Great animation, great art. It's Rayman. Spider Man, Spider Man, does whatever a spider can. Tower Defense game, Pipe Dream. Yeah, that's cool. Holy crap. Holy crap. Super Dodgeball. Is this from the same people who made... Oh my god, dude. Super Dodgeball. We were actually talking about that today on my um, eat, uh, State of Play Sony coverage. They did a Dodgeball game, and I brought up Super Dodgeball on NES. Amazing game. It's made by the same people who made River City Ransom, which I don't know if you ever played River City Ransom, but that game on the NES is so ambitious. There's like, it's a beat-em-up, but there's towns, there's all kinds of shops, all kinds of different food, like all kinds of progression, and amazing. And they made Super Dodgeball, which is amazing too. I'm really curious if this is the same people. I want to play Game Boy Advance now. I don't love the art though. It's Tony Hawk. Rayman Advance, first installment in the Rayman series. Really? Also, I like how the, the bad guy's name Mr. Dark, so generic. I'm Mr. Evil! Choo Choo Rocket, this is from Sonic Team, see that? Sonic Team. Uh, check out um, check out the Super Dodgeball one. I'm curious about that. But the racing... It was called Crazy Racers with a K. Also, by the way, apparently Sonic came out on Game Boy Advance. Which... Is that weird? That in 2001, Sega was putting Sonic on Nintendo stuff? Is that weird? Yeah, it's a crazy racer with a K. It looks awful. Choo Choo Rocket action puzzle game, Sonic Team. First game for this online console gaming? Whoa! That's neat. So yeah, the two I'm curious about are Oh really? Okay, I thought that was weird. Good music. Of course, it's a Sonic game. Sega Tennis? I think that eventually became Virtua Tennis, I think. Nah, that's different. 
This actually looks cool. It looks like Super Tennis on the SNES. One of the best tennis games ever made. Shenmue 2. I hope you didn't like Shenmue 2 because your ass is going to have to wait 20 years for a sequel. It's going to be reviewed poorly. NFL 2K. This is before EA monopolized NFL. NBA 2K. 18 wheel American Pro Truckers. Huh. Outriggers, that looks dumb. Kill five terrorists in the time limit. I wonder if this is, oh man, this came, this was 2001, this would have been summer 01. This is like right before the terrorist attack. Propeller Arena. Don't care. What's with all these games having terrible HUDs, by the way? The fucking HUDs are so busy. Crazy Taxi, that was a good one. Konami, Crazy Racers, known in Japan as Konami YY, Racing Advance. Full version, car racing iOS. Oh my god, iOS? Game looks awful. Alien Front Online. I didn't know Dreamcast was so online focused. It's kind of cool. Get some bass fishing. I used to really like fishing games actually back in the day. I hated fishing in real life because it's boring. Fishing games are fun. Did they ever make a Wii fishing game? I feel like Wii is like perfectly suited for uh, that. And also, speaking of online, Fantasy Store Online. Dude, I had no idea Dreamcast was so online focused. It's so weird. Flogian Bros. Hold on, there's a typo. Check this out. This is F L O I G A N. This is F L O G I A N. Which one's the real Flogian? Super Dodgeball Advance is a dodgeball video game produced by Atlas. Recent Game Boy Advance is a spin-off of the Super Dodgeball series. There's a series of Super Dodgeball. It does not feature the character design. Despite it's being licensed and accessory. That's cool. Dodgeball on the NES. So good. And dude, River City Ransom. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the I'm gonna play that game on a, on a Let's Play. I'll put a note to myself. River City Ransoms. That sounds like Donkey Kong music. Is one of the best NES games ever. Floating Brothers an action adventure game developed by Visual Concepts, released in 2001 by Sega. It starred Jason Marsden, I don't know who that is, and Frank Welker as the voice of the title character, only for the Dreamcast. After the production of Ransom had ceased. Bomberman! Whatever happened to Bomberman? That was another one. Super Nintendo, amazing game. Awesome multiplayer action. And then like over the years, they just completely screwed over Bomberman. Also make note of the fact that it's online again. Dreamcast, boy, that's your online destination. Ooga booga. Looks like Fortnite dropping in. Okay. I like the art. Confidential mission. What a stupid title for a game. 
shooter. <gasps> they made a toe jam in Earl 3. Excuse me? Dude, they made toe jam in Earl 3. Funkify, yo, what up? Oh my god. It doesn't look good. Oh my god, Toe Jam. So I can you, did Toe Jam and Earl? That's one I want to check out myself, actually. Uh, Uga Booga's online. What's with all this online Dreamcast stuff? Focusing on the combat of Kahuna. Positive reviews. Okay, it did look cool. Like the animation is very the cartoony. I'm looking up to a German Earl 3. Yeah, it looks like it came out. Visual concepts again. We'll see the reviews on this one. This is a really gameplay the game. Oh, Sonic? So, yeah. This is early. They haven't translated it yet. I like Sonic's voice in Japanese better. Uh, reception. It scored not bad. Like sixes and sevens. I want to try to look up a, speci a specific score. Oh, I remember this game. I totally remember this part. Okay. We know Sonic. Did you like this one? I know you're, you're, you're kind of a Sonic fan. Always have good music. I'm not a huge Sonic, Sonic guy, but music sounds good. Now we go to Xbox. No lyrics for this song. Did they have lyrics in the original? Guess you come out with any at the time. Skybox is wow. I, that that sounds very different than the release. When? How long? When did that come out? Because this was two thousand one. So if they did that much work, it probably didn't come out for like a year. Let's see. Sonic Adventure two. Two thousand one. Wait. It came out June 2001. 18th. December the 8th in the North American market. You'll be able to go into retail stores. I'm really confused. Because if it changed that much, how come... Like this ...with Xbox in it. This is going to be a momentous <laughs> event for the industry and for Microsoft. Got a place to go, got to follow my way home. About 1.0 to 1.5 million units of Xbox 1 will be sold. Who says 1.0? That's a great start to what is going to be a great platform. Xbox will launch in North America on November 8th. We're excited to report that we're going to have 50 to 100% more units than Sony had with their PlayStation 2 launch. And for $299, people are going to be super excited by what they get. And we know we're not going to be bad. able to sell as many units as we can produce. 300 is not bad. This is a good system. I like the Xbox. The secret weapon for Xbox is its online game capabilities. It's the only... That's not the secret. Everyone's pushing online. Uh, but it was too early to really 
be online. Uh, and it's funny because now we're still pushing always online. But I will tell you, the first Xbox underrated, you had KOTOR, uh, um, KOTOR and Morrowind. Those two alone. And then, of course, Halo. Only console designed from the ground up to be perfect for broadband online gaming. And that is the future of gaming. And we think is going to bring some very exciting things to people who love to play games. It is the future, but not yet. You're not ready. Xbox games rock because they create an environment rock. of realism with sound and graphics and gameplay that people have never seen before. Xbox and when you add really online creepy back then, to that, it's I guess so. an entire new experience for people. It's like ominous. Oh, the startup screen? Yeah. Well, it's, and that's why we say with Xbox, your games will never be the same. We're working on it. We're going to get to it. You know, it's them. amazing what you can afford once you get out of the hardware. <laughs> Peter Molyneux, Fable. <laughs> Turns it up. really is. I'll leave the floor. Uh, you know, with $500 million to spend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the volume is all over the place. say that Xbox is better than the PlayStation. I'm not going to go that far, but I do think it was underrated. I remember playing Morrowind, and my mind was blown when I played Morrowind. See if we can get something. That's kind of cool. Uh, what's that? Yeah. Oh, Simpsons, uh, Hit and Run, I think it's called. Okay, okay. Oh shit! I didn't mean to hit that. Damn it! Where were we? Ah. Trying to skip ahead here. There's Halo. NFL Fever. Bloodwing. Jesus, going on forever. Tony Hawk again. Console War thing is overrated now. Yeah, that's true. It, it it's always been a little overrated, and there I love how there are still some people who like still cling to that. It's like oh, like it's Microsoft got owned by Sony. They're dead. They're never computers. I like first of all, competition is good. You do not want only one company doing everything. Trust me. Second of all, these are big corporations. Like, stop like kissing their butts. Remember that robot game for the Wii U, and you would fight as the robot for the Wii U. Uh, sure. It's not Wonderful 101, was it? Halo got everyone hooked back then. Halo was a game changer, literally. It was the first time a first-person shooter really nailed it on console. Oh, Road Rage, this was cool. I hate that. It never came out? No, I don't remember that, actually. Maybe if I saw it, I would remember it. Speaking of playing as giant robots, I still need to play more of that cheesy PlayStation 2 game that I that was streaming for a while. Robot Alchemic Drive. I think you've seen me play that. 
It's amazing. Alright. NHL 2002. These are really long videos, so I'm trying to skip ahead a little bit. Project Gotham Racing. That was a good one. Fusion Frenzy? This looks kind of neat. It's like American Gladiators. Project KX. Please. Sorry, I'm skipping around. A lot of these aren't that interesting to me. There's Jet Set. Is that what it's called? Jet Set Radio Future? Or is it just called Jet Set Radio? Then they reworked it into the robot game in a Nintendo Labo. Oh, Labo. I forgot about Labo. You can do VR Labo. Yeah, I've seen Okay. Yeah, that game is amazing. Robot Alchemic Drive. NASCAR, don't care. DOA, okay. Oh, here's Oddworld. We just saw the new one at the Sony event. Odyssey. Halo. That's kind of cool. Virtual Fighter, hell yeah. Remember that Skybox demo? GameCube and E3 that featured 100 barriers and a big spin of the over time. Oh yeah. What the hell was that about? I think I tuned that out. I'm trying to forget about it. Watch your reaction to it. Yeah, it was a good event. I think I think B minus. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm sticking with B minus. It was quick. There wasn't a lot of cringe or filler. And Final Fantasy 15, Yuffie. Dude, I had goosebumps that whole Final Fantasy 15 thing. Like, especially because of the music. I should have mentioned that in the video. That game is magical. came out but Shigeru promised it would come out. Being incredibly powerful you lied to a Shigeru. You ruined my childhood. People always cheer for Star Wars. Hold on, let me see what else we got here. Disney's Mickey. You know, those are really good. Uh, honestly, like, there's been a bunch of good Mickey games. They had Castle of Illusion back in the 16 bit days. They had Epic Mickey for the. That was for the Wii, I think. Where he would, like, paint stuff with his brush. It was really good. Zelda. Side Mickey. Anything new? Whoa, what the hell's going on there with Luigi? Hell? This is 
weird. Animal Forest? Is that like... Yeah, it's Animal Crossing. Metroid. You hear that, Nintendo? You hear how they're cheering for Metroid? We need to make more of them. When they revealed, uh, they first revealed Twilight Princess at E3, reporters said that there were literally some reporters in the audience crying. Like, people lost their shit for Twilight Princess. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Watch that again. I should have replaced Mario 35. That'd be amazing. Yeah, I saw Double Dash. Double Dash is great. It was only really quick. It was Double Dash. I, I did see that. Show me that Mickey game again. It looks really creepy, didn't it? It did look creepy. That was the early game over screen for Luigi's Mansion. Glad they changed it. Double Dash. Some people say it's the best uh, Mario Kart game. I would say maybe, but for me, Mario Kart 8 is the best. I don't know if that ever released. I'm guessing it's the GameCube? Yeah, GameCube, Mickey. There's no title, so I don't know what to call it. Wave Race N64 blew my mind. It was really good. Super Smash! Are you sure there was a title? Let's check, I don't think there was. Let's see. Is there a title? Uh, let's see, where are you, Mickey? Let's see. It just says 2000, yeah, I don't think there was a title. It just says 2001 Disney. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Disney, well, uh, no, it just says Disney's Mickey. Unless that's the title. Which it might be. Disney's Mickey for Nintendo GameCube. Yeah, Double Dash. Some people say it's better Mario Kart. Also, some people say Melee is the best Smash Brothers. Climbers are in melee. It's pretty cool. There's Dinosaur Planet. Also, Animal Forest was the Japanese name for Animal... Oh, okay. That's why I never heard of it. 
The game came out of game computer is another version called Animal Forest Plus. That's interesting. Yeah, because the first Animal Crossing, wasn't that N64, but it didn't get it released here, only in Japan, I think. This is Magical Mirror. Oh, Magical Mirror. There we go. <clears throat> Starring Mickey Mouse known in Japan is Mickey Mouse No Something. Adventure video game developed, developed by Capcom. Ooh, maybe it is good then. Star Fox Adventure. I never played this game because I was like, yo, this ain't Star Fox. This kind of is, but. Location confirmed. Transporting supplies. Wow! <laughs> this, th what, that voice. This reminds me. I need to watch more Captain N. Remember that? Cameo. Okay. Don't care about cameo. Metro Prime. Eternal Darkness, wow, I remember that game. We just mentioned... We still have another video to watch, so I'm, I'm trying to like be quick now, because these videos are long. Rogue Leader... Looks creepy in a trailer, though. Yeah, I agree. Maybe they're going for like a creepy like vibe on purpose. This was a fraud. It was actually a. It was. Yep. Yeah, I remember reading about that. Like, it started off as a dinosaur game, and then they reskinned it. But yeah, it was. It was. It wasn't Star Fox. That's. I was like, it's dinosaurs, and also like. You're like running around in a 3D world, like platforming and stuff. Star Fox is a pilot. He's not a melee fighter. Except in Smash Brothers, I'll allow it. Alright. What time is it? Let's go here. Three and a half hours. Look at the early gameplay for Luigi's Mansion. Okay, remind me at the end. We'll, we'll check that out. Sorry, I just like there's so much. I don't have a lot of time left. Ah, AOL client. That's that's fun. What is this? Real player? Oh, it's real player. Duh, it's a video player. It is Friday. It's one AM. Oh, don't remind me. I had to start late. Um Unfortunately. Normally I try to start around eight. Uh, oh, let's see. Where did I put the freaking? Yeah, I'll just play this while I'm looking. Boop. Real player. Let's make sure we're video players. Spider-Man the movie. That's kind of cool. It's made by Treyarch. Dude, wait, Treyarch. Didn't don't they make Call of Duty games now along with uh, Activision? once was there was a timer for the mansion and if you didn't capture all the ghosts you would die and it would show you oh that sounds terrible 
I do not like games that have time limits on them in general. Like, maybe for separate missions or whatever, but yeah, I, that, that, that's, that's not sound good to me. Dragon Ball Z! The game is a classic. Spider-Man 2002's action-adventure game. In the same name, published by Active... Yeah, Activision Treyarch, wow. It looks really cool, I never played it. Never played it. But it looks cool. This sort of time period of gaming, I feel like I was playing less than I normally do. I think I was really busy with stuff. Here's Wipeout. See, it's like F-Zero, kind of. One of the things that really blew me away was, like, how fast it ran. Like, like it just runs so fast. You really get that sense of speed. Good game. Too bad. Wasn't that amazing gameplay for Dragon? Just a clip of the anime. Dragon Ball, it seems like they haven't, they almost never get good games. I mean, I heard Kakarot was pretty good. And there was this one like 16 bit JRPG that came out that looked really cool. And also, the Fighters game, right? Didn't they make a Dragon Ball like. Street Fighter game? That that looked really cool. I want to try watching Dragon Ball. Do you think I would like it? You know I don't like anime that much. But, but everyone seems to like... Oh, Dynasty Warriors. I, I do not understand why people like Dynasty Warriors. I'm not hating. I just don't get it. It's so repetitive. I even played the Zelda one, the first Zelda one. And, yeah, it didn't do it for me. Castle 2. This game looks kind of neat. Is this a tactics? PG? No. It's like Dynasty Warriors. Well. Dynasty Warriors, yeah. In my opinion, I think it's very overrated. The anime is way too long. Oh, Dragon Ball? Yeah, I hear there's a lot of episodes. I do like the art because it's the same guy who did uh, Dragon Warrior slash Dragon Quest, right? I forget his name now. Toriyama, I think. And I've always loved the Dragon Warrior games. So I was like, well, maybe... Oops. Oh no. Okay, we're back. Oh, Baldur's Gate. Hell yeah. 
Batman Vengeance. This was a decent game. It was based on the, the amazing animated show. This is a pretty decent one. Fun fact, Harley Quinn, she didn't originate in the comics. She actually originated, I think, the animated show. Game loosely based on oh, Three Kingdoms. Yeah, 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 I know that. Sequel to Kessen, a name only. Based on the events of Japan and China. Yeah, yeah. They made those games, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, based on real events. Yeah. Hell yeah. Most anime is published by Square. <laughs> yeah. Well, if Final Fantasy VII Remake counts as anime. I guess I like anime. Because I love that game so much. The more I think about it, the more I'm almost tempted to say it's my game of the year over Neo 2. It's so close. Time Crisis. That's a good one. Another on-rail shooter with a generic name. Police 911. The hell? It's Konami. It looks really dumb. Frogger, the great quest. Oh no. This, this is a Frogger game? This looks nothing like Frogger. This is like Frogger meets World of Warcraft. Wow. Some people in business suits were like, Frogger, how do we make Frogger cool again? Frogger hasn't been cool in a long time. be free on March PS Plus games? Really? Wow. Well, they're doing a free PS5 upgrade, and then Yuffie comes out June only on PS5, so I need to get a PS5, damn it. But I don't really have the money for it, plus it's hard to find. I want to play Yuffie. James Bond, EA game. Aliens. Wait a minute. Aliens Colon Colonial Marines. Wasn't that the uh, game made by um, fucking Gearbox many years later? I didn't know they made one in 2001. It was canceled for unknown reasons. It was by EA, even though it says Trek 6 Games, maybe been the. Interesting. Hmm. Wait, what was that? Maximo. Ace combat. Twist the metal. Oops, god damn it. Sorry. Frogger the Great Quest is a platform game developed and published by Konami. It's part of the Frogger series. Yeah, technically part of the Frogger series, okay? But that looks nothing like Frogger. 
3 out of 10 rating. That's great. It looked awful. Can I need to take a break in 2001? Seriously. Thailand. So calm. Among numerous missions that take place this was in cool. Ambushes, hostages, I remember playing this on the PS2 and I even had like the little headset voice you can speak to people because it's multiplayer. This is a really cool game. Pretty gritty again. Uh, hurry, gurdy. Legacy of Kane, I know that one. Wave Rally on PS2. It's nothing like Wave Race. This is Wave Rally. Completely different than Wave Race. It's called Wave Rally, subtitle. Completely different than Wave Race. On the one end of a vast view to another, you know, seamlessly without pop. Okay. You pull away. Uh, Sorry about the drop out there when you fly around, you're doing things that a non flying carrot can't do, so we're going out of the occlusion area. Final well, Fantasy 10. Our character is much closer to, to reality. But on the other hand, because they're so close to, to real There's a contingent of people who think Final Fantasy X is the best Final Fantasy. And I, and I am not part of that group. The player in player has to keep going and playing the games with the fear that something, someone, is hiding in the dark. Are you excited about Five Nights at Freddy's, the new one? Metal Gear. Good game, good game. <laughs> That's funny. There you go, this is a good Konami game. What? What's with the smooth saxophone music? It's like, it's like sexy smooth saxophone music. Okay, sure. Dude, Scott Cawthorn did not expect this game to be this big. Who's uh, Scott Caw Cawthorn? Look at that. Is. <laughs> yeah, the explanation mark. They're showing a lot of footage for MGS. Wow, they're showing a lot. This is my son. Sons of Liberty. <laughs> oh, yeah, isn't that crazy? Like, just one guy, like basically in his basement, like, making this, and it blew up. Good for him. I mean, I never played it. I don't know if it's even a great game or not. But hey. I may play the new one, just because I'm curious. Like, I never played the first one. Or any of the offshoots. Man, this is going on for a long time. Can you imagine E3 doing that today? Like showing like freaking 30 minutes of one game? Like seriously, it's like more than 30 minutes.
Also, I may stream my favorite E3 game showing ever, which is, drum roll please, God of War, the, the reboot. When they first showed that at E3, when they opened Sony's press conference, with the music and the cinematics, holy crap, dude. That is like everything great about E3 rolled into one. It's my personal favorite showing. Look at this, this is funny, ready? Cardboard box, description. Box made out of cardboard. <laughs> Jesus, it's still going. Is that a Star Wars reference? I have a bad feeling about this. Right. Come on, let's let's move on. Now. Bloody Roar 3, never heard of Bloody Roar. This actually looks kind of cool. I've never heard of it. I like it. He created his game in 2014. He's made eight games in the span of seven years. Has there is this like the new one, like a true sequel, or or were there other sequels? Because I thought the other ones were like like expansions or DLC. But I could be wrong. It's a jump scare induced game. You stay in your office. You're on a night guard shift. Am I trying to kill you? Drive to the vent. Yeah, it's interesting because this new one you can actually move around now. Like I think in the older ones you just like, yeah, you just like switch cameras. This game looks cool. I like the look of this one. Blade Runner Three is a 2000 fighting arcade developed by. And Hudson Soft? Okay. Whatever happened to Hudson Soft? They used to be freaking awesome, dude. And then they just, like, disappeared. This is the first of the Bloody Roar series if you on PlayStation 2. I've never heard of the Bloody Roar series. Digging this though. The music sounds kind of like Mario underwater 3D music, a little bit. Oh, a little bit of Sonic vibes here, kind of. Say vision. Vision reprise. Hmm, okay. I'm digging it. They're giving it a lot of time too. Grand Turismo 3. You know something? I don't like sim racing games, but for some reason Gran Turismo that I've always liked Gran Turismo. And I'm excited for the new one. They're really tough. Alright, I think that's a stream. Looks like we got to the end.
Alright. Alright. Wipe out. Pretty good. It was by Namco. You remember this game? Each game was a sequel to the other. It has a dark story about a knight. Oh, it was a sequel. Okay. Night Garter killed four children and stuffed them into animal animatronic suits. The two bullies stuffed the child into real life, which was a bit tough. Oh, okay, okay. So they kind of okay. So they continued the story. Okay. Well, now to Luna Teen's Veil is a platform game developed by Nichols, self-published Nichols in Japan, North America, Sony Computer Entertainment. 2001 direct sequel. So it did come out in North America. Okay. It looked really good, honestly. And clearly Sony was like proud of it because they practically ended the show with it. Besides Gran Turismo, and they gave it a lot of time. So. Well, that was fun. Not the best E3 2001. Hopefully 2002 is better. Um, Nintendo had some good stuff, especially the GBA. The GBA stuff was the highlight for me. Sonic like yeah it's got like a 2D two and a half D vibe but the music's really chill really peaceful it's really colorful almost a Rayman vibe kind of with the color palette and the animation I like it a lot I like the backgrounds I love the art cute little character got a neat upside down mechanic I've never heard of this game mm. neat streaming on Sunday I have no idea um, I might go back to Mario Maker uh, possibly e3 we still have Yoshi that I haven't been playing much of uh, I'm pretty close to finishing Fire Emblem. I don't think I'm going to stream that, though. I think I'm just going to beat that off camera. And I got Yakuza. So those are probably the big games. Maybe Dreams, too. Basically, I have no ideas. That's where I'm at. Tempted to do Mario Kart. Play some multiplayer. Though its last release was 12 years ago. Bummer. Hmm. Yeah. That's fun. And okay. Well, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it as always. And I will catch you on the next one. I am super tired. I'm kind of <laughs> kind of out of it. I need to eat some food. So, all right, man. I'll catch you.